Welcome to this Sage Business Cloud Accounting demo. In this video, you will learn how to configure and use analysis types in Sage Accounting. Sage Accounting offers two types of analysis, transaction analysis and group analysis. They are essentially categories to break down and analyze your business, your income and your expenses into several segments. Using analysis types will provide you with access to insightful information about various areas of your business. Transactional analysis allows you to analyze data at the transactional level, which can be very convenient to track departments, cost centers, or projects. Group analysis allows you to segment and track groups of records, such as customers or vendors. Let's first look at how to configure analysis types. Go to the settings tab, and click Analysis Types in the Financial Settings section. Start by selecting whether you would like to configure Transaction Analysis or Group Analysis. In our case, we will configure both, beginning with Transaction Analysis. Here, three types of analysis can be set up. By default, they are Department, Cost Center, and Project. But these titles can be modified. For example, we rename Department and we type Activity. In our case, let's imagine that our business has two main activities, landscaping and snow removal. For each activity, we confirm or modify a code, and we type a description. Since we only need two activities, we remove the third line. Finally, select the areas of the program where you would like to use these activities. In our case, we want to have the ability to select landscaping or snow removal for sales and for associated expenses bank transactions and journals. Finally, we click Save. Here, we could set up a second type of transaction analysis, such as project. Like with activities, for each project, we type a code and a description. Project can be added to the list at any time. In our case, each project will represent a specific site. Again, we select the areas of the program where we want the ability to select a project. Finally, we click Save. Now that we've configured transaction analysis types, let's have a look at group analysis. By default, we have a customer group, a vendor group, and a product group. In our case, we will segment our customers by their geographical location. We configure a group for the North Shore with the code N, and a group for the South Shore with the code S. Let's also delete the third line. Finally, indicate the type of records that will be grouped this way. In our case, customers only. Click Save. We will now assign some of our customers to a group. From the Contact tab, select Customers. Let's select one of our customers to assign to a geographical location. Select the Options tab. Under Analysis Type, we can easily select a group. In this case, North Shore. Click Save. We will now return to the Customers list. The same steps can be followed with other existing customers. Let's click New Customer to see how to assign a group to a new customer. In the New Customer window, click Analysis and select a group. In this case, we're not adding a new customer, and we close this screen. We will now create a transaction to illustrate how transactions can be assigned to various transaction analysis types. From the plus symbol, we click Sales Invoice. We start by creating the invoice as we normally would with a customer, key dates and details about the products and services invoiced. Each line of the transaction can now be assigned to an activity and to a project if applicable. For the first line, we click the double arrow. For this salt spreading service, we select snow removal and we indicate that this activity was performed at a specific site. We repeat these steps for the second line. This time, we select landscaping and UBC Group Site 2. We can now save and print or email the invoice. Finally, let's review some of the reports which provide key insights on specific areas of our business. We generate a profit and loss report and we select the desired dates. The More button allows us to display information that is specific to one specific activity or project. For example, we can select Activity and Landscaping, then click Calculate. The report now displays an income statement for our landscaping activities. 
let's have a look at a different report. Select Accounts Receivable to display a list of our customers with an outstanding balance. Here again, click the More button to select an analysis type and select a specific category that you would like to run the report for. In our case, North Shore. Then click Calculate. The report now shows customers on a North Shore with an outstanding balance. Analysis types are available in multiple reports, such as your Sales and Purchase Daybook, Profit Analysis, General Ledger, and much more. Congratulations! You now know how to configure and use analysis types in Sage Business Cloud Accounting.